Child, let me see if y'all remember this one. I'm going to take y'all back to my eighth grade year, back to 2002, um, walking around Spratly Middle School, ready to get the hell out of there. I'm going to see if y'all know who this is. <clears throat> if you were me, what would you do? Always a lie and never the truth. Now as for me, I'm moving on. You'll always be my baby. Come on, y'all. Baby, I just got to let you go for now. Thought I could take it for a while. Maybe you'll make it back around. Hey, baby, I just got to live my life for now. Can't see me changing for a while. Hope I can make it back around. Yes, anything that I want, I could get it, boy. You know you turn me on and on, and that's why I changed my frame of mind. Uh... Always coming on time. I'm looking to spread my wings and party. Anyway, y'all drop down in the comments and let me know who that was. I know I butchered up the uh, the, the verses, but I was really going off of my memory. <laughs> but y'all tell me who that is in the comment. Y'all listen. Now, y'all know I don't the fuck like Big Face at all whatsoever. I don't care how many of them can, of them, of them demonized legion of demons that she got feel about it but i don't mind being fair when it's time to be fair because when it comes to this new shit when this excuse, excuse me when it comes to this new shit and this new stunt that grandma moses got coming out here with that she trying to do i ain't liking it i ain't for it uh and the main and I'm gonna get to the main I'm gonna get to the real reason why I'm not for this shit when we get to it. So this comes from Screen Rant and it says RHOP Mia Thornton exposes Candace Dillard's old homophobic tweets. I'm gonna tell you why I put the emphasis on old. So our Rachel P's Mia Thornton put Candace Diller on blast by posting her old homophobic tweets. Mia says it's karma for Candace bringing up her past. Mia Thornton from the Real Housewives of Potomac just exposed her enemy and co-star Candace Diller for making some homophobic tweets on Twitter. Feuds between ladies of Potomac can get pretty shady and series newbie Mia is keeping up the drama on her social media. Things between Mia and Candace have stayed sour as our HOP season six plays out. But Mia just took her feud to an extra level by posting problematic statements from Candace's past. The Potomac ladies feud kicked off when Mia joined the cast of RHOP. Mia offended Candace by calling her music video shoot low budget, to which Candace hurled back an insult about Mia's mother, who is a recovering addict. The housewives agreed Candace went too far with the joke about Mia's mom, but Candace doubled down on her insult, which led to a screaming match between the ladies' vacation to the eastern shore of Maryland. It turns out Mia's throwing salad at Candace wasn't enough, so the Baltimore native is now taken to her social media to get back at Candace further. Mia shared a post on Instagram from a fan page exposing Candace's decade-old tweets. The gallery post displayed Candace making an anti-LGBTQ plus comments. In one tweet, Candace speculated that her co-worker was gay because he acted strange. I'm personally turned off by men who are too into fashion. Candace wrote in 2010, makes me think gay. Candace also made also made a disparaging remark about the Real Housewives of Atlanta star Phaedra Park's husband on the tweet again, um, again speculating if he was gay. In her caption, Mia acknowledged that Candace tweets are old, much like her past as a stripper that Candace insults was also 10 years ago. Why would someone keep bringing it up? Gotta ask them, Mia wrote. Mia, it, Mia also pointed out Candace report Candace reported attacks on Mia's appearance are uh, often claims that she looks masculine. If she wasn't homophobic, she would not refer to full body women as handsome. Mia ended Mia added a snap to a post. Mia added a snap to the photo to the photo set of her last uh, product. One wick candle reads karma is a bitch. Um, Candace isn't the only housewife that has been exposed to making homophobic tweets in the past. Executive producer Andy Cohen has called out cast members from different franchises for their offense. Words at... Hold on. 
Okay, words at the reunions before. Uh, with reports of Candace being grilled at the reunion by host, guest host Nicki Minaj, perhaps Mia's shady post will put Candace in the hot seat for future season. It seems like the beef between Candace and Mia will, fe will feud that feud um, throughout Real Housewives, Real Housewives of Potomac season seven. God damn, Screen Rant. Um, that came from Screen Rant. Now, I'm going to tell y'all the reason why I just don't go up for this shit, Mia, is because it's old, okay? It's shit that vloggers, bloggers, and everybody else done already got Candace together about way before season five, bitch. This was a whole year ago. Like, she did an interview with Mother Dineva, and Dineva read her ass the fuck down in a nice way. Read her ass the fuck down about what she posted and how she needs to be careful because how she never would have thought that posts from 2010 would have then came back to bite her in the ass 2020. She's already went through that, Mia. See, I thought it was some new, something new that done came out and it done got to you and you done exposed her for it. That's what I thought it was. But then once I found out that it's some shit that we don't already know about and, and, that, and that's my thing, Mia. Real bosses don't have time to be sitting up there searching for shit because for you to be searching around on fan pages to dig up dirt, uh, old dirt at that, that everybody already got her ass about on Twitter to now resurface it again as your way of saying, well, she's bringing up my past. I mean, you came up here with your past, Mia. You came up here and, and, and admitted that you was a stripper and you did this and you did that. Now, she's bringing it up and throwing it in your face as a read. Now, you butthurt about it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get how you is this upset and still this butthurt. Don't get me wrong. Was Candace mad? For, I mean, was Candace wrong for bringing up your mama? Absolutely. All right, but I don't know what you expect from the spawn of Satan. I keep telling everybody, she is a damn voodoo priestess. Nobody wants to believe me. That bitch is the Antichrist. I don't fool with her. I don't, I, 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 Candace is not my cup of tea nowhere in America. At all. But I got, I, 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 I stand with her in this shit because you brought this up for what? This shit ain't going to give what you think it's going to give because they done already got her together about it. Like, you can't even do the shit right, Mia. Like, you, like, listen. It... <sighs> you know, Mia, I get it. You're new, so you're doing what you think you have to do so that you can get invited back for season seven. I get it. But this shit between you and Candace is going to get old. It's starting to get old now. If you want to be honest about it, Mia, this shit between you and Big Face is getting old. It's getting tiring. It's getting worrisome to talk about. It really is. Every week, is it's, it's got to be an issue between you and her. Don't get me wrong. She was wrong for what she did. But you keeping it going by sitting up here bringing up old tweets. I mean, you ain't had enough of her bringing up your mama. That should have been enough. You should have just let that shit. Whatever, Mia. Um, we'll see what Candace going to come up with, child. And we'll see if I read her ass the fuck down about it. Or we'll see if I go up for her for doing it. It all depends on what she got. I mean, you sat around there and brought up some. Like, I, I, I would have went up if it was for something new. Some new new, some breaking news, something that Kempire and all them was going to be talking about later. You coming up here with old shit that we done already roasted and Jones and gagged Candace big face ass about already. Like, I don't. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. I'm sorry, Mia, but you are. You're a schmuck. This is then. This is another reason why I believe that everything you got is given to you. You didn't work for it, cause I swear you're the biggest schmageggy that I know. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got. Everybody kept sending it to me. 
So I said, I go on ahead and give y'all a tea talk since I was already uh, reviewing uh, what you call it anyway. Both of these gonna be out today. Um, uh, I don't think I have any other announcements to give y'all. Any other announcements? No, I got other announcements. So yeah, I'm gone. Bye.